This is what we're making today, Qingzi Stir Fry. This is a dried lotus seed. We're going to start off by soaking it in cold water. We're going to soak this for about 30 minutes. Next, we're going to cut up all our vegetables. If you guys didn't know, this is a vegetarian stir fry. For this stir fry, we're simply cutting up some bell peppers, red chili peppers, and half a clove of garlic. This is a shiitake mushroom. With a turning knife, we're going to cut out the cross on top of it. Why are we doing this? Because for some reason in anime, they have this on top of all of the mushrooms. I can't really explain why they do it, so I'm not going to. We're just going to do it ourselves. Just like in the picture, your mushroom should look like this. Next, we're going to take a napa cabbage and take the bottom and top off. We're going to take the top and then separate them. This will be used for garnish. In a pot of simmering water, we're going to drop the top of the cabbage in and cook it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we're simply going to take it out of the water and then set it aside. Now, in a really hot pan, we're going to drop in our mushrooms. We're going to give it a little stir and then season it with salt and pepper right away. The salt will help extract the liquid out of the mushrooms. We're going to saute this for about a minute and then flip the mushrooms with the top side down. We will continue to sear this for 2 minutes. The mushrooms take a while to cook so make sure you take your time with it. We're also going to make sure that we season the bottom part of the mushrooms to extract more liquid. After 3 minutes in the pan, the mushrooms should be about 50% cooked. We're now going to flip our mushrooms and then add in our lotus seeds with a little bit of the liquid in there. The liquid will help the mushrooms cook through and also add lotus seed flavor into the dish. We're going to saute this until the liquid is almost dry. At this point, we're only going to be cooking for another minute. We're going to add in our bell peppers, our garlic, and our chili peppers. On really high heat, we're going to saute this for about 10 seconds. Then, we're going to add in 2 tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, and 2 tablespoons of hoisin sauce. We're going to give this a good stir, saute it for another 30 seconds. Now let's get ready to plate. Alright, so previous to this dish, I've never had lotus seed before. I haven't even tried tasting it today yet. So this will be my first time eating lotus seed, and I'm very curious what it'll taste like. And of course, you better believe I'm going to be eating this with rice. Now let's give this lotus seed a taste. This is how I would describe it. It has a nutty taste to it. It has almost a crunchy texture to it, but not quite. I would say it's like eating a really big pine nut. And if you guys didn't know already, lotus seed is packed with protein and it's a very good substitute for meat for all you vegetarians out there. And as for the stir fry itself, I mean it's easy to eat and simple to make. Give it a try guys. The sauce is sweet from the hoisin sauce, salty from the soy sauce, and the peppers give it a good kick. And that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching.